In this video we present the Bubble Cursor, a dynamically sized area cursor which can enhance selection in both dense and sparse target environments. The Bubble Cursor continuously grows and shrinks such that there is always exactly one target within its boundaries. There are two main problems in standard area cursors which we address in the design of the Bubble Cursor. Area cursors are generally square or rectangular, which means a target that is further away from the cursor location can be selected before a target which is closer. We use a circular area cursor, so that the closest target will always be selected first. The second problem is the size of the cursor. If too large, multiple targets will be in its bounds. If too small, the area cursor may not capture any targets. Our solution is to continuously update the size of the cursor, so that there is always exactly one target within its bounds. To calculate the radius of the cursor, we consider the two closest targets. We define con di as the length required to completely contain the closest target and int dj as the length required to intersect the second closest target. We set the cursor radius as the minimum of these two values. In this case, the cursor completely contains the closest target. If, however, the containment distance is larger of the two values, the bubble cursor will only intersect the closest target. To compensate, we morph the shape of the bubble so that the target is completely contained. Here, we demonstrate the use of a bubble cursor. As can be seen, the cursor size grows and shrinks such that there is always one target within its bounds. The morphing also occurs when necessary, so that no other target is intersected by the bubble. 